Yo, what is up? Gonna quickly jump in here to ask you to check out my official merchandise on sale now. Each design has been created by me myself, with new designs being added each quarter, and I'm really, really proud of these. Some of my favorite designs are the Just For Tonight hoodie, the Promise tee, the Barker long sleeve, and of course, the Noise! beanie. Not only these, but I have tons more designs and products currently available. Spend $35 or more and you'll qualify for 10% off. Spend $55 or more and you'll qualify for 15% off. So be sure to follow me on Twitter as well for any merchandise updates, including designs available for a limited time only. All links are in the description below and I hope you enjoy this video. What is up there? In today's video, I've got five facts about Roxy from the series Jobless Reincarnation slash a character analysis video. So we will be going over Roxy's bio, personality, voice actors, and more. Now a quick warning that there will be spoilers, so just a heads up. And for more weekly anime character fact videos, make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss a video. Why not head over to my Patreon where I have some exclusive videos, monthly hangouts, and early access to these videos before for anybody else, I know. I know. Anyway, with that being said, grab yourself a beverage, some snacks, and the best seat in the house. Let's roll intro and get straight into the video. Roxy is one of the main characters of the series. She is a migard and a mage who travels around as a tutor and of course becomes Rudius's teacher or master as he refers to her. Roxy made her debut in episode one of the anime and chapter one of the manga. Her birthday is unknown. We do know that she was born in K373 and is currently between 40 and 50 years of age. Appearance wise, Roxy is short in height and has a very slim build. Unfortunately for Roxy, her body is very childlike and she often gets mistaken for a teenager rather than that of the adult that she actually is. And because of her race, she actually won't age until she reaches 150 years of age. Damn. She has long aqua blue hair that is worn down in twin braided pigtails. Her eyes are also the same aqua blue color. Now, attire wise, Roxy wears brown and white magician's robes along with the traditional wizard's hat that is black in color. Personality wise, Roxy is a very intelligent person who is always on the search for more knowledge and constantly wants to improve upon this as well as her own magic skills. She is described as being very headstrong due to the fact that she ran from her tribe to set out and travel the world as an adventurer. Unfortunately for Roxy, she couldn't make enough money to get by as an adventurer, so she decided to become a traveling tutor instead. Now, why did she run from her past, you may ask? Well, Roxy was born to the demon race tribe, the Miggards. But Roxy was born without the special magic of the race, which is that of communicating telepathically. Because she couldn't communicate this way, she grew tired of all of the silent conversations going on without her and decided that she needed to escape from this. After fleeing, she found herself at the Adventurer's Guild in the hopes to earn some money that she could use to leave the demon continent. She managed this and became a student at Renoa Magic Academy and graduated becoming a war a saint. Roxy's Japanese voice actor is Konomi Kohara. She has voiced other characters such as Chika Fujiwara in Kaguya Sama, Miyu Ashihira from Domestic Girlfriend, Koyomi Kano in Bloom Into You, Mona from Genshin Impact, and more. Roxy's English voice actor is Michelle Rogers. She has voiced other characters such as Toka Yatagami in Date Alive, Ko Yagami from New Game, Shion in That Time I Got Reincarnated as a Slime, Kanan Matsura from Love Live, and more. In terms of ability, Roxy is a powerful mage and definitely has a talent. Like I mentioned earlier, she is a traveling tutor and will become a teacher at the Renoa Magic Academy, so our girl definitely has skills. Now, Rudius is a special talent and is one of very few that can cast magic without having to audibly voice the incantation for a spell. While Roxy can't do this, she does have chanting omission, which is a skill that shortens the incantation needed for magic. 
We know from earlier and of course from the series that Roxy specializes in water magic, but that's not all that she can use. So here are her magic rankings as as follows. She is king ranked in water magic, saint ranked in fire magic. She is advanced rank in earth, wind and healing magic, and finally intermediate ranked in detoxification magic. Okay, let's wrap this bad boy up with some trivia about Roxy. And uh, heads up as there will be spoilers here for the anime-only watcher fans. Roxy does not like the taste of alcohol. She believes it to be too dry for her liking. However, she visited a town that sold sweet alcoholic drinks. And after trying some, she would often be seen drinking these whenever she got the chance. Apparently, our girl has a sweet tooth as well as she is also said to love sweets or candy. We mentioned Roxy's small stature earlier and how she is often mistaken for a teenager, but did you know that she does have a complex about her body? She feels that her body appears too frail and weak to be seen as attractive. I know a lot of you disagree with this, so I've seen it. I've seen it on Twitter. <laughs> she is also quite self-conscious about her own belly button. This is because Rudius constantly plays with it. Thought this one was a bit weird, but um, each to their own, I guess. Now, if you have seen my previous jobless reincarnation videos, you will understand the wife situation or wives, I guess you could say. If not, go watch them and then come back here. Roxy, our girl, always had a romantic fantasy of being a damsel in distress and being saved by her fated lover. Now, this actually happens when Rudius saves her in a labyrinth when she falls into danger, so yeah. Of all of Rudius's wives, Roxy is said to be the most mature, and we, we're, we're talking about mind here, not body. I see you guys again. I see you. <laughs> this was seen with how she handled the situation of Eris becoming Rudius's third wife after discussing it with second wife, Sylphiette. Now for a lewd one. I know you guys like the lewd ones. Roxy is said by Rudius to be the most technical in the bedroom. Nice. Just like her thirst for knowledge with magic, the same can be said for the bedroom antics. Oi oi. Roxy is always offering alternatives to improve her performance in bed and is always researching and trying to improve. Rudius will eventually create his own religion and Roxy was the first goddess he worshipped, dubbing her the goddess of wisdom. Her holy pantsu are also on a shrine in their basement. Nice. Well, thanks for watching. That was my video. Five facts about Roxy from the series Jobless Reincarnation. Let me know in the comments who you would like to see next. Of course, a huge shout out to Warwick, Animator22, and Brian for supporting me on Patreon. Don't forget to head on over there yourselves. Check out the amazing rewards on offer, including a super special awesome exclusive series for Patreons only. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to smash the like button. Follow me on Twitter, Twitch, and Discord. Links are in the description below. And subscribe for more anime content. Till next time, my fellow weebs. Peace.